good evening to one and all here at Hackathon's Cliff in St. John, which is the third highest point in Barbados, which is uh, some thousand feet above sea level. Bordering St. Joseph and St. John, and we are overlooking the east coast of Barbados. So one more thing before I leave, I'm leaving now. I'm gonna walk back to Malvern Road. Before I leave, this is the burial vault here and which the Tom the Hackerton, Forrester, Cox and Culpepper families have been laid to rest. This is also the area, I don't know if it's this a direct area, where the indentured servants from England or Scotland were placed when they were placed in Barbados. That is why the parish of St. John is home to many of the white Barbadian populations. We refer to them as red legs, poor whites, or Akebekis. Most of their most of their ancestry originated in St. John here in Barbados. This, this is one of the areas in which they were placed here along with Martin's Bay in St. John. So I will now be trying to make my way back to the main road now. Malvern Main Road. Don't know what I would encounter on my way there. What are you filming? Whatever takes place, I'm gonna still continue to do my vlog. Southeast. Or the East Coast of Barbados. I will let you guys soak in some of this scenery before I move off. It says here beneath your feet are three burial vaults containing the remains of the Hackathon. Forrester Cox and Culpepper family dating from circa 1685. Please spare them a thought as they gaze at the spectacular view of our East Coast and treat this area with respect. From church burial registers and various publications, it is believed that the following persons are interred in these vaults. Mr. Thomas Forrester before 1685, Mr. Thomas Forrester in 1685, Thomas Hackerton circa 1690, Isaac Todd Forrester, 1775, Margaret Cox, 1793, Alexander McLean, 1793, Elizabeth Harvey Harper, 1795, James William Cox, 1795, and Mary Weathers, 1826. Now leaving, heading back to the road side. No. As I said before, and I will say again, I don't know who or what I will may encounter while vlogging on these streets. Uh, Hackathon's Cliff, the water rapid response tank. So again, I think this is the track here that was coming back down to the East Coast. As I said before, I'm in St. John, which is to the east of the island. As you can see, I'm taking my time, watching out, looking out. I hope you guys are enjoying my vlogs. As I said before, it is not easy going out and doing vlogs around Barbados to bring to you guys. I believe some of you guys may hear or see that when I'm doing my vlogs, I meet up on such difficult people who just try to make my life miserable. I know, I know that people don't want it to pictures taken, but I'm not taking anybody's picture. I'm taking sceneries and places in Barbados. What I would do, or what I usually do now, is try to keep out of areas 
which I know that have a certain kind of people living there so that I wouldn't have to get into anything with anybody. So areas that I know that have rebels, bad people, uh, violence, I try my utmost best to keep from those places. This is a quiet area. I've not heard about any incidents or accidents taking place in this area. So I just come out here and do my vlogs to Hackathon's Cliff. On my way, eh? Huh? Yeah. On my way in, I encountered a man at the corner by the Marvel Great House who was telling me that I recording him by taking his picture and all sorts of nonsense. Guys, just wanting to be, I guess, wanting to watch with me as I show you guys the beauty of Barbados. So I'm making my way back to Malvern now. So far, so good. So far, so good. I know that people don't like to be on. People don't like pictures or what's not. But cameras are being used now every day. People use, people have that scam in their vehicles. People have surveillance cameras. And some people actually stream from their surveillance cameras so in order to know what is going on in their surroundings. People have um, news, I mean, reporters and other vloggers do the same thing. So, it's something that you can't get away from. Is this site near K Departure Trilogy on YouTube? That this lady does, some of them is have people picture on it and they bring out news about almost everybody in Barbados, both the famous and the not so famous. And she's bringing out news, sometimes it damages people's character, but yeah, she is still bringing it out. The lady, Sharif Veronica, or whatever her name is, that runs the naked departure site and I am innocently with pure intentions doing my vlogs around the country to show you guys what Barbados is like and I butt up and run into some other Wallaconians because I would call them idiots but trying to make things difficult both on the road and on the beach sometimes I just tell myself I will go I wouldn't go into certain places, especially places that are populated. I would go into a lonely area in the country somewhere that is quiet. And yet when you go there, I just still meet said people. Mostly passing, whether walking, driving, riding, and they just make noise with me. I you have a character that I have a reputation now, people put it on me, that is the name that I don't know if I created it for myself or if people created it for me, that I just walk about and get people picture and record people. I'm sure that nobody's here right now since I passed that house and I'm still filming. I don't go to film people, I just film sceneries and places in Barbados so I can put them on YouTube for people to see. This is the cat around here guys. But People don't know what is going on and before they keep 
quick. They are, I guess we need to tear down my reputation. I don't do people things. I don't do anybody anything. But that is what the, that is what people try to paint me as a troublesome person. Me. Both motorists, pedestrians, give me a hard time on the streets. I just go in places that are lonely sometimes, not because I just out of the blue sky do it. Like up here is lonely now. And I will come out here sometimes to do a video and run into some difficult person who wants to make things hard for themselves and me. But I refuse to let them make things hard for me. So I just I just ignore and continue doing it. This is all farmland here. So this is a beautiful countryside. This is rural Barbados I'm in. And I'm to the east of the island. and the grass has been cut from this section here. Here there's no sign of the fall, so I will go on the video and get back to you guys later. Thanks for watching now, have a blessed evening.